worked in a little place called Point La Hache. Gentleman that I met, his name is Doug Wells. He was one of the fortunate ones. He was able to save his boat. And then he lived on the boat because he knew that if he left the boat, the Coast Guard was going to come and take it and destroy it because it was very badly damaged. We were talking about shrimp hauls and how he should be out there now shrimping because it was shrimp season, uh, but he wasn't. And he wasn't sure when he was going to be able to get out. The sense of courage and determination that I found in these people. They, they understood that they were getting the shaft, but they were not going to be defeated. They were not going to run away and hide, slowly but surely. It's going to take them a while, but they will rebuild their community. Our primary mission at this point is to keep before the public's eye the fact that these people still need help. And once, you know, the media is through with that, the story is over and people tend to think, oh, well, it's all, it's all over with, you know, but that's not the case at all. That's not the case at all.